So being the front woman of Heaven the Axe, that must be pretty empowering, leading a big bunch of guys on stage. Can you tell us a bit about how that feels and how you sort of fell into that position? Well, basically, um, it's a partnership between Steve and myself. Yeah. Um, and what we do is we have a collective of musicians that we rehearse and write with. So basically we have three drummers and we have another guitarist and a bass player and we also write with some other musicians as well. So we're really lucky in that sense. We've built a collective and it's kind of like a family that we've yeah. built ourselves. So we feel really strong. Yeah. Um, you know, we do feel like the king and the queen of our musical journey and the sound that we make is a manifestation of the energy that we put into the you know, into the band. Yeah. And the band has had, you know, we've had to put a lot of sacrifice into being able to create what we've built now. And we love it. We love our team. You know, the guys like my brothers. And we have a lot of fun. Yes. It's what we want to do. The heat hums and bites your aching feet. Heaven the Axe have just released an album called Sex Chugs and Rock and Roll. Can you tell us a bit about that and the awesome excitement of touring with uh, Rose Tattoo and Angry Anderson? Yeah. So basically, Sex Chugs and Rock and Roll is the culmination of really an album together and getting that band together and recording it and everything. It, it, it is like the day I got the CD, it was the dream come true. And we put it out there, you know, we, we released it at the Palace Theatre at House of Rock in Melbourne to over a thousand people, which was yeah. incredible. It was such a great That's night. Cool. And um, Angry invited us to tour with him uh, with the Rose Tattoo shows around Victoria, which was sensational. We, we met a lot of great new friends, fans there. Um, and Angry, you know, he, he says he's my father in rock and roll, you know, and he <laughs> cool. really is. We just put a concert on together, my brother and myself and some friends, um, for our hometown in Wagga Wagga, which was devastated by floods. Mm. And we went, wow, we've got the resources to make a difference. So we put on a concert where we had Angry come and play, and our band was Rose Tattoo. We had 9,000 people come throughout the day, and we raised $44,000 for amazing. the town's flood relief fund. So... It, it, you know, our dream hasn't come from just playing that first little gig that we did at the Noise Bar, but it's yeah. actually come to making a difference in our community, which is the best part of being yeah. able to live the dream. Yeah, well, you're inspiring other women. And on that note, who have inspired you the most, particularly women in music or women in your life throughout your journey? Well, I'd definitely say my mother, who um, stood by me. She unfortunately died when I was 21. Um, but she left a legacy in a very important song of mine that's on our record, it's called Unconditional Love. And her lesson in that, which is basically inspired by her, you know, being there for me through all the rough times, you know, from when I was working in King's Cross and, and being close to death basically from the pain that I was dealing with. Yeah. She stood by me and she said to me, you know, I'm here because of unconditional love. And I learned that and when I went to rehab, I wrote her the song Unconditional Love and gave it to her for her 50th birthday when she came to rehab to visit me and spent her 50th birthday with me. And, um, and then she died shortly after that. So that was a really powerful legacy that she gave to me that it's really important for us to share that to the world because that's our most important song. You know, you see a lot of hardcore heavy metal musicians doing a lot of posturing, a yeah. lot of a lot of tough stuff. Yeah. And I think and my whole band would have to agree that unconditional love is pretty much the toughest energy you could put into any song. So that's what we bring to the plate and, and our fans definitely agree. That's really inspiring. Um, the main theme for what that I would personally write about all the time is universal law. I think that um, you know, it could be written about anything. It could be about someone that really pisses you off, a lover did you wrong. It could be, you know, about 
sexy times. It could be <laughs> about a, a, spunk, a spunk driving a Tirana down the main street with his long hair. You know, it, it's all about it's all about the universal law which makes yeah. you know life happen. It's all about breaking the traditional rules of society, which. I, I don't personally tend to agree with. I, I tend Neither to agree. do we. <laughs> I tend to agree that there's laws that you can never deny for yourself and that they're what you should choose in order to get what you really want out of life. So that's what I, that's what I sing about and it definitely seems to be working getting across to people. qualities musos that you like to work with have like what qualities do you like in, in working with other creative musos I like people that are multitaskers like myself so people that are able to do lots of things people that are unstoppable people that are you know dedicated to you know creating and following th things through completing things um, open to new ideas open to new possibilities and yeah, expanding that, expanding their minds. Because a lot of the guys' influences in the band are completely different to my influences. So yeah. it it all comes down to being able to communicate on every bar, every chorus, verse. Yeah. You have to be able to say, "This is what I want," and that's negotiate. Really, yeah, really yeah. important. So uh, I met some amazing people who were had been to Nepal and had witnessed the um, you know the terrible side of child sex slave trafficking, and um, they inspired me to be able to use my music in order to raise the profile of the message of what we were trying to communicate to the world about how desperately terrible uh, the situation is over there. So we put on a series of fundraising concerts and raised two hundred thousand yeah. dollars to be able to go towards a hospice called Mighty Nepal. And, um, and that was able to educate and grow leaders basically out of the rehabilitated girls over there so that they can go out into the world and rescue the girls that are still suffering the slavery over there, which is really important. And any wise words of wisdom or advice you'd like to give women out there that might not just be looking at pursuing a career in music, but just women that lack the confidence to pursue what they really want to do? You have come from an incredible background and if you can do it, anyone can do it. Can you give some advice to people out there that lack that confidence? I think it's all about being yourself 100%. It's about connecting to your heart because without being totally in tune with your heart, you're not in tune with your throat, you can't sing. You need to be able to, you know, give yourself love in order to be able to, be able to communicate what you really want to say to people. And don't put up with crappy band members, you know. <laughs> build a team, build a family, because you've got that to your advantage to be able to, to really, you know, give a different love that yeah. other male singers wouldn't give. Yeah. And not, have have not you saying anything in particular there? <laughs> have you had any crappy band band members? Yes. I had a drummer that told me my ass was big and I should live on chicken and broccoli. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drummer just came out with that one day. We don't have him anymore. Thank you for coming on to Chicks World. Thanks for having me. Chicks World, excellent.
Hey guys, this is Chicks World and this season we're looking for some talented female musicians to come on our show or at least have their music on our show. So if you can play shaker, razoo, triangle, drums, guitar, anything amazingly, please contact us because we want to hear your style. Yeah, yeah Chicks World! Rock it out! <laughs> Travel plants up in the 